So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about using AWS WAF to stop account takeovers. So you'll be asking, what exactly are account takeovers? And right in front of us, we're on HackerLoy.com. And what hackers normally do is that the moment they hit onto, say, a login page, they will target the username as well as the password. And this typically occurs because one, you have the username field, and two, you have the password field. And what the hackers will do now is that they go ahead and target over in the system and targeting the username and the password field using some of this commonly exposed database of usernames and passwords out in the wild. So right in front of us, we have wp-login of hackerloid.com. And here we have the username and the password field, and we could be injecting this because of all those different data breaches that are occurring, and we are able to find out what is the username or the password field and try to inject them over into the site to see whether we have a chance of succeeding in login attempt. So what we can do now is I can go to the top right corner, I can select under Burp Suite, and with that, I can jump over to say a terminal, and I can go ahead and launch Burp Suite over here. Okay, so once I launch Burp Suite, this is going to be our interceptor. So I can go ahead and target, say, the following of being able to click Next, Start Burp. So we're starting on Burp Suite right now, and once Burp Suite is started, go over the proxy tab and ensure that intercept is on. So once intercept is on, I can jump back over the login page. And perhaps I know that a username is hacker Loy, And perhaps I have no idea what exactly is a password for now. I click login. And that's a potential that there are many different combinations of passwords that we could be using as part of launching the attack. And right here, we have the interception. All right, we have a post wp-login.php. And with all these different details, you can do a right click, send over to intruder. So once you're in intruder tab, you can see the attack target. So in this case, we have host, we have the port, and the more interesting part here is the positions. So this is the place where we can decide what to do to target the login page. So in this case, right at the bottom left, you can see lock. So lock is for the username. So in this case, we have hacker Loy and a PWD in this case of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we want to update here is the position of PWD. So I can go ahead and click add, all right, so this is going to be the payload marker for us. So once we have that set in place, I can go over to payloads tab and we can load, say, the 1000 commonly used passwords. So this allow us to inject the different types of passwords targeting towards a specific username. So once we are ready, we can three, two, one, I click start attack. We click OK. And now we're sending all these different password attempts over into the site and of course i can click pause and right here we can see the following we have status 200 so we're trying out different password combination to target against the login field and this is exactly what we are trying to stop so right in front of us we are on aws web application firewall so this is a cloud native web that we can deploy really quickly to protect our resources so in this case i'm already on the following which is a web access control list so i'm on the rules and in rules we can add the following all right so you can see right here new aws managed rule group available account takeover prevention so what we can do now is go ahead and click add to web acl all right so i'll show you exactly how it works so right here as we're going over into the add manage rule groups so we need to specify exactly where is the username field as well as where is the field for the password so that we can do the inspection and the check so here you can see the following account takeover prevention provides protection for your login page against stolen credentials credential stuffing attacks and so on so go ahead and click add to web acl click add it and so once you click under added you can see the following okay so we have the pricing we have the different type of sub rules within it so we have the volumetric ip high session attribute compromise credentials and so on and so forth so i'm going to share a little more advanced trick they'll be using today which is to use label to catch some of these different attempts they're hitting into our aws web application firewall web access control list, and of course, in this case, this specific account takeover prevention. So here in this case, we can look over into the following. Okay, so we can say we want to target attribute compromise credential. So that is going to be one of the examples that we can take a look at. And once we have that set, I can scroll down a little bit. So here you can see the following. We have the rule group configuration. So this is the place we have to specify. So in this case, on WordPress, we have slash wp dash login.php and of course in this case our payload type is going to be a form encoded so what is the username field and what is the password field so we jump back over to Kali linux you can see right here if i go back over into the positions we have the log which is for the username 
and the PWD, which is for the password field. So let's go ahead and fill that right in. So jump back over to AWS WAF, enter log for the username field, and PWD for the password field. So once you're done with that, all we got to do right now is go ahead and click Save Rule. All right, so done. So now we have the Manage Rule. So once you're done with that, go ahead and click Add Rules. All right, so once the rule has been added, you can hit back over into your Web Access Control list. You can see the following right here, success. You successfully updated the Web ACL, HackerLoy Web ACL, okay? So once you can see right here, we have the following. So I have the ATP rule set. So I wanna show you exactly how that looks like. So I'm gonna move this all the way to the top, click save, all right? And once we're done with that, what we can do next now is to enable logging so that we can do analysis on what is hitting onto our site into our wp-login.php. So go ahead and click on the logging and metrics. Click enable. All right. And what we want to do now is go ahead and say create a CloudWatch Logs Log Group. So let's go ahead and click on a create new. And what we can do now is to specify the following. Okay. So here we have, we have to specify AWS dash WAF dash logs. Copy on this. Head over to CloudWatch. Insert the following, which is the AWS dash WAF dash log. And I can enter the following hacker loy ALB. So once we're done with that, all I got to do is scroll down, click create. Done. Head back over to Ableus WAF. Okay, do a refresh. Target over into the one that we've just created. Ableus dash WAF dash logs hacker law ALB. Once you're done with that, screw all the way down, click save. Okay, so whatever of all these different attempt requests are hitting into our web access controllers, we'll be able to have those logs in CloudWatch. So now what I'll show you here is we can go back over to rules, click add rules and click add my own rules and rule groups. So what we are doing here is we are trying to get the label. So once the label has been passed over into the next rule, we'll be able to decide what we want to do once that inspection check has been completed. Okay, so in this case, I can enter the following. Okay, so we are doing say compromised credentials, all right? And once you're done with that, it's a regular rule, matches the statement, and here we have the following, okay? Has a label. So you can see the label over here, we can enter the label, and of course, in this case, we can look out for the following, which is the compromised credential, all right? So here we can see the following, AWS WAF, manage AWS ATP signal credential compromise. Clicked on that, all right, scroll all the way down, we want to do a block, and I'll add in a custom response. So in this case, we can click enable, Response calls us give it a fall three. Okay, I'll enter fall three over here. And of course, in this case, we can enter a custom response body. And I'm going to put the following, which is compromised credentials. Okay, and we will enter the following as a plain text. Do not try to hack. Do not try to hack Mr. Hacker Law. Okay, once you're done with that, click save. All right, so we are done. And all I got to do now is click add rule. All right, and this will be added over into the web access control list. And what we can do now is we can update this to be right after, all right, the rules ATP rule set, okay? So let's go ahead and select on this, move up. So the moment we picked up the label from the managed rules ATP rule set, it will hit into compromise credentials and then we can block it with the custom response. And then go ahead and click on a save. Okay, so done, that's it. All right, so now what we can do is to test it out and see what we will be able to witness on the hacker's end. So heading over to the AWS web documentation, you can see the following here. Test the rule group's credential checking capabilities. So perform a login attempt with test compromised credentials and check that the rule group matches against them as expected. So you can see right here, we have the following user and the password field or the other one is WAF task credential at wafexample.com, followed by the following password. So this is something that we can test out very quickly. So what we can do now is head back over to Burp Suite. All right, do a right click on intruder, send over the repeater. And in repeater, what we can do now is this is the place where we can craft out those specific types of payloads that we want. So in this case, we can change up the log as well as the PWD. So head back over to documentation so I can do a copy right on the user, hit back to Burp Suite, and I can do a paste. So I've copied and pasted both of the username and the password field over. So go ahead and click send in three, two, one, click send. Do not try to hack Mr. Hacker Loy. So you can see right there, very quickly, we were able to block out the hacking attempt over into the login field. The other option to detect what exactly is the username and the password field to fill in for the AWS WAF rule is to do a right click and click on inspect element. And under inspect element, you can see the following right here, okay? So we have the input ID, user login, class, type, name. So name is going to be the key field for us to fill in. And the second part you can expand under is the user pass 
wrap. And in this case, of course, we have the following. All right. So we have the ID user pass. We have the class with the type and the name. So in this case, name PWD is the one they will fill in into the AWS WAF rule. So for the log groups that we created over here, you can see the following. We have the log streams. Click on the search all. And what we can do now is go ahead and enter, say, block. Hit enter on that. I can see the following right here. Okay, I can expand on it. And we can see the following rule. Okay, so we have the following, which is action block compromise credentials okay so we are blocking out the attempt coming in and of course we got a client ip address we have the host the user agent the headers information so that we can begin building up some of the more advanced signatures or to block out the ip address directly from further attempts into our site and this time around, guess what would happen if we launch the same attack against the login field so what we can do now is to start attack back to burps you click ok on that i can see the following all right we have all these different past fields and we can see the different one two three four five six all these commonly used passwords and because we have enabled the account takeover prevention you can see right here on the following we are now beginning blocking process of this ip address because of all these multiple attempts to gain access over into the site so you can see as follow we have the following i can pause the attack right now we have six 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 right qw ERT, UIOP, and so on and so forth, we're seeing 403. So if I go on the response, you can see the following right here, 403 forbidden. As we're running all these different type of attack methods, we want to know exactly which one of it was picked up by the managed rule. So in that case, we can go under to the AWS web documentation. In this case, right, we are seeing all these different kind of labels that are being passed inside the log. So could it be under password traversal? Could it be under long session, username traversal, and all of that? Or could it just be volumetric IP high? So by looking at the provided labels, this gives us the opportunity to investigate on the logs what could be happening and what could be triggering some of these managed rules. Now, if I go back over into the CloudWatch, I can go ahead and click on a search all. And what I can do once again is enter block and look at some of the occurrence that is happening. So I can say, for example, look at the past 15 minutes, click apply and see which one of it got picked up. So I can view the following. All right, we got a block and it says the following volumetric IP high. So this is the reason why we were blocked for multiple attempts into the login feel. So once again, I hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And remember, do not try to hack Mr. Hackaloy.